Hello, welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a mum of three from the UK. If you're new here on a Wednesday, this is our adoption series. We are embarking on a journey to adopt our fourth child through UK adoption. Um, so today I had a, a very exciting day. We got all of our paperwork through. Um, I'm just gonna collect it all together. I've got it all out here in front of me so you can see the amount of it. That's it, this is it. This is our stage one paperwork. Um, I'm just going through it and I'm sorting out like what Phil needs to fill in, my husband, what he needs to fill in and putting that in his pile and then um, and and going through everything we've got. So I'm going to go through all of the stage one paperwork with you and tell you um, what we've got. Um, so first of all we've got a um, adoption preparation stage one self-assessment form and this is asking us stuff that I'm assuming they will then talk about talk to us about in stage two so you've got family background and early experiences employment previous relationships current relationship and your family household functioning and practicalities and things like that it's it's just a general know all form then we've got a chronology um, this is talking about um, major events, moving ha addresses you've lived in, um, education and employment, and then major life events from birth until present day. And then we've got, I won't show you this one because it's got a personal information on, but this is consent to checks and references. So um, things like consent to DVS checks and um, speaking to our references and stuff like that. So that's in Phil's pile, that's for Phil to do. Um, and we've got a home safety checklist. Um, this is going through all of like the baby proofing stuff and um, we have we have got, got all of those in place already. Um, the only thing we haven't got, excuse me, um, put up yet is the stair gates but we have them available and ready to go. Um, then the next thing is our pet assessment form um, for our pets. We have um, in the house we have a dog, two cats and three guinea pigs. Um, so they, um, the guinea pigs are all going to be on one form I'm going to do and then the cat each because they're you know kind of generic and the child won't be handling them in any way um, and then the cats will get one each and then the dog will get one as well um, because I feel like the cats and the dog obviously are going to interact with the child more um, so then we need to do a family tree this is an example that was given they would like dates of birth or ages and then they would like to you to go back to your grandparents and include um, cousins and stuff like that I'm actually going to sit and do that tomorrow um, I was going to I looked at doing it online but it didn't have the important people that were like um, because my my siblings are not biological siblings they are my my mum who I call my mum is my stepmom um she and my dad are not married so like her children who I so I'm um, like my she has two sons and then you know my sister because you've seen her before if you've watched my other videos um you know they're not biologically related to me and they're not even related to me by marriage so um uh, yeah I they're not they wouldn't then they weren't coming up on the family tree um so I'm gonna do it by hand I think and just make it um be creative be creative with it uh, so then see we've got my then back in the pile we've got my um assessment form and my chronology put those over there then we've got the uh financial statement um they want to know your um oh dear that went funky that one um, they want to know your um, income, salary, wages, benefits. They want to know things, your mortgage, council tax, rent, utilities, regular personal payments. That's things like um, life insurances or house insurance, that sort of thing. Any vehicle costs. Excuse <laughs> me. Um, other personal costs, household costs like um, household things like groceries, home maintenance, pets, that sort of thing. And then things, there's a section for the children um, and then they want totals. Um, then next we've got our medical forms. Uh, the medical forms are really quite concise. They're asking for physical health and mental health and your history and then a physical of um, how you're doing right now. Um, I'm going to call our GP surgery tomorrow and get those booked in for probably a couple of weeks time and then there's a letter for our GP saying what you need to do. Uh, we found out, we were told originally that our, um, that we would have to pay for the medicals 
and that they would um so i was like oh okay we're gonna have to pay for them that's fine so we made sure that there was money set aside um for them so they wouldn't you know it would be there ready for when we used we needed it but then we got a letter today saying that our agency is actually putting um some money towards it and then anything over that uh we have to pay and we've worked out we have to pay like one pound 14p or something like that towards it we were like that's fine um and I was like, oh, like where are we get that? That's that's like some money that we put aside, quite a large chunk of money that we put aside. Um, excuse me. Uh, my husband said, well, we the car could do with some new tyres, so um, that's what that money is going to be spent on now, which is which is cool. Uh, so yeah, it turns out um, I'd been waiting two weeks for this paperwork. But it turns out they sent it three days after. Um, our registration of interest was um was was accepted and um i was like what <laughs> but they keep putting um an e on the end of bill and they put it in the email and they sent that to that email and uh, my email address my personal email address has my name in it and they put an e on the end of bill so it was being sent to somebody but it wasn't me uh, which is really really annoying um so yes <laughs> we've got all the forms now i've been sat waiting for like you know several days um thinking oh you know is this not gonna happen now or something and getting really worried about it um and um yeah so but it's fine i've got all the i've got all the paperwork now and i'm sat doing it i'm gonna do some now um and it's quite late in the evening at this point i have no idea what time it is i'm pretty sure it's past oh it's 10 o'clock there you go it's um it's almost 10 past 10 so i can't not do some tonight you know what i'm like I, when i have stuff i just want to get on with it so i'm gonna sit and fill out the things that don't require too much thought like the home safety check and the pets because they're reasonably easy um and i'm gonna sit for a little bit tomorrow and um do the like self-assessment form like have a sit and think about it and fill out a few bits um and i think i might get the children to help me do the family tree that would be fun i think i'm gonna get them to help me with that and um <sighs> we can um, make it on a nice big piece of card or something together and um or whatever so i think i might get them to help me which would be nice okay so this is just a really really short video um coming up of so you know what's next now your and now our registration of interest has been accepted uh the paperwork that comes um and we're just also waiting for our social worker um whoever they are um to contact us to come visit us which is a bit scary so um yes i'm going to get the um get this paperwork to sorted and together hopefully um by monday and then um also getting the problem areas in the house that just have got a bit neglected over the last couple of days get them sorted this room right now i'm in my bedroom and it's a complete poo tip so i need to um get stuff get the stuff out of here uh, that needs to go there's just stuff that i've got out and not put away because i've been dealing with the rest of the house so that's the big thing that's the big thing so i will catch you on friday for another video and there'll be another adoption video next wednesday bye